Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. It's Anonymous T. Hope you're having an amazing day today. So we have some tea, you guys. We have some love and marriage Huntsville tea, and it pertains around Marceau Scott, you guys. He is out in the streets in Huntsville. Thank you. Shout out to my followers because you guys are on the case. You guys are on the case, and you guys are trying to dig up every single thing possible um, from the locals, from the people of Huntsville, you guys. And so allegedly this weekend, Marceau and Sadaric, remember Sadaric who used to be on the show? They were out clubbing, you guys. They didn't, they weren't at black, you guys, but they were out at the clubs. They were out in these Huntsville streets hitting on women. And I guess the new cheating approach is to tell the women different names, right? that you're not going to say that you are Marceau and Sidaric from Love and Marriage Huntsville, but that your name is Jamie, um, as an example, you guys. But it's like, doesn't everybody know everybody in this town, especially in the black community of Huntsville? Like, don't you guys all know each other? Like, do you guys not think that this is gonna get back to people? What happened to Marceau going to cheat in Atlanta and going to, motel six so that people did not recognize him at the hilton and at the marriott like what is happening you guys what is taking place um that marceau is continuing to be reckless i thought he would stop cheating as currently there is a storyline airing on the show of alleged cheating and his alleged back being in an alleged hotel room with yet another alleged mistress but here we are but here we are um, but I'm not surprised. But what happened was at first, you know, the person from Huntsville thought it was a joke and thought, OK, maybe they're feeding into this, this and that. However, because the black community in Huntsville is small, a second person confirmed that Marceau goes by Jamie when he is giving out fake names and getting women's numbers and hitting on them to hook up with them at a later date at a Motel 6, you guys. Um, so that is the thing. Those of you who live in Huntsville, those of you who live in Atlanta, if somebody that looks like Marceau hits on you and wants to hook up with you and tells you that his name is Jamie, um, there's that. You know exactly who it is. You know what this is giving me? Remember Real Housewives of Atlanta when Phaedra and Portia said that um, Todd cheats on Candy and that he goes by Marvin? <laughs> that he go he tells women his name is marvin so that they do not recognize they may they assume it's todd from real housewives of atlanta the husband of candy burris but he tells them marvin so that it doesn't trace back you guys so there is that so we've had allegations that you know marceau is hooked up with tisha's stylist tisha's hairdresser tisha's cousins on both sides of the family and now we're just out here with randoms you guys because marceau wants nothing to do with his wife that is evidently clear you guys that is evidently clear he wants nothing to do with his wife. He does not want to engage with his wife. He does not even want to put up a fake united front with his wife. And that's what makes these Instagram lives and these interviews even more hilarious. You guys wanted to come for the holds, but you guys are doing a terrible job of putting up a united front, you guys. And for somebody who keeps denying that they are a cheater, but then they keep cheating behind the scenes, people keep having receipts, people keep having stories. All of these stories aren't just coming out of nowhere. They're not just coming out of thin air, you guys. They're not just coming out of thin air. And it would make sense that certain receipts have not been produced of Marceau cheating because they don't know it's Marceau Scott from Love and Marriage Huntsville. They think it is Jamie from around the way in Huntsville. So therefore, they don't have the need to, you know, brag about this encounter because they probably think he's single. They probably think that he is a single man and that this could potentially lead to something. So now we know 
how Marceau rounds up the 20 girlfriends. He has a wingman, whether it's Martel, whether it's Maurice or Zadarik, apparently, and tells them his name is Jamie. They exchange contact information and go to the local Hotel 6, Motel 6 to get it in, you guys. That is on that. So let me know what you guys think think about that you guys in the comments um because i mean is it not believable is it like i mean is it not believable and it like i said it reminds me so much of the todd cheating on candy with marvin um as the name you guys so that apparently you know since you're such a big reality star you have you can't even use your name you guys because because the fans are just they're just throwing themselves at you i i cannot i cannot make it make sense you guys <laughs> make it make sense um so there is that but please let me know what your guys' thoughts are in the comments because Again, once again, we are at some foolishness. We are at some effery. We are at some shenanigans. And it doesn't surprise me that yet another cheating allegation as recent as this weekend, you guys. So those of you who are in Huntsville or were in Huntsville over the weekend, did you see Marceau, a.k.a. Jamie and Sidaric at these clubs out in these Huntsville streets? Uh, going by Jamie. <laughs> Please let me know in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.